For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Special DK in Raspberry. You will need a crochet hook. Today I'm using a 5mm, but for this sample piece I used a 4.5mm. You can play around with your sizing to create the size of square you want. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Before we get started into the tutorial, I just wanted to explain to you how you can uh, map out your squares in order to create any shape that you want. Obviously today I'm doing a heart, but you can play around and do whatever shapes you like. So I've actually done a 19 by 19 square. And the main thing that you want to do is just make sure that when you're mapping out where your bobbles are going to be, you have a stitch in between them and then you also have a row of double crochets, which is the UK term, the US term is single crochet, in between the bobble rows. Okay, now this piece of paper that I have here, the squares are slightly distorted. I didn't, this is the only graph paper I had. So obviously if you had graph paper with um, squares in rather than rectangles like these, you will be able to judge your pattern a little bit better. But that's your basic principle of how you would do your uh, bobble patterns in a square. So I'm going to grab my yarn and we'll get started on the bobble heart square. So we're going to begin by creating a slip knot and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Grab your hook and insert into the loop. And as I said before, we're actually going to do a square which is 19 by 19. So we're going to start off by chaining 19 to begin with. So you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through the loop. One, two, three. And make sure that this chain isn't too tight and that you're moving your fingers up as you go along. Four, five, six. Pause the video and meet me back once you've done 19 chains. So I've now chained 19 and what I'm going to do is chain an additional one um, and this is going to class as our first double crochet. That's double crochet in the UK, single crochet in the US. So now what we're going to do is actually work into the third chain from a hook and do a double crochet. So we're going to insert the hook into that space or into that chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. So that chain one classes as one stitch and then we have a, another stitch here, so that's two. And you're simply going to double crochet all along that foundation chain into each of the chains. So do that all the way along. You should have 18 stitches plus that chain three, so 19 in total. Pause the video and meet me back once you've done that. So this is how my row is looking now. Um, and as I say, you'll have 18 stitches plus that chain one that we did at the end to equal to 19. And what we're going to do now is we're going to chain two and turn our work. And we're going to do um, double crochets back along this row. Now we're not going to work into the base of this stitch just here, so that we're not going to work into the base of the chain two. We're actually going to uh, work into the next one over. So you're just going to insert your hook into that stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. You're going to work your way all along this row. Um, you will have 19 stitches in total, including that chain two from the beginning. Work your way to the end, meet me back there, I'll show you how to move on to your next row again. So I've just done um, 18 stitches in total and once you get to your 18th stitch, it might look like you've actually got to the very end, but you haven't. So you want to make sure that you are picking up this very last stitch just here and you want to go into that stitch, uh, grab the loops and then do your double crochet as normal. Lots of people forget to go into that very last stitch and that's what can uh, make your uh, work gets smaller and smaller as you work up so make sure that you are counting your stitches. Now the next two rows are going to be exactly the same as what we've just done so I'll just show you how to um, chain again and turn so you're going to chain two, 
turn and remembering that you're not working into the base of that chain two you're actually going into the next one and you're going to do your double crochets all the way along again so we're now on our third row so we've got one two three you're going to complete this third row chain two and turn again and do one more row so you'll have four rows of double crochets in total so go ahead and do that and meet me back once you've finished i've now finished my four rows and this is where we're going to start the um, actual pattern so i'm going to chain two and turn and then I'm going to take a quick glance at my chart and I can see here that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches before I do my bobble. So this chain two is my first stitch and I'm going to go ahead and do another eight double crochets and then I shall show you how to do the bobble. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So now we're ready, ready for the bobble and we're actually going to work this from the back so the bobble will stick out the opposite side. So what you want to do is begin by doing a treble, so that's a double in the US. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next space, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through two loops on the hook. You'll have two loops remaining. You're then going to stop there and then grab the yarn, insert into the same space, grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through two. And we're going to keep doing this until we have five loops on the hook. So grab the yarn, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Four loops on the hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two five loops on the hook. So that is now the amount of stitches that we need to do our bobble. So you're going to grab the yarn and pull through all of those loops on the hook. At this point I like to pull down on my stitch so that we're creating the bobble on the opposite side. And then what you're going to do is you're going to double crochet into the next stitch along to anchor that down. And there you have your bobble on the opposite side. So that is our first double crochet of our nine double crochets to finish off this row. Go ahead and pause the video, do your eight more double crochets and then meet me back in a moment. So once you're at the end you're going to chain two and turn your work and you'll see your lovely bobble uh, just there and for this row you're simply going to double crochet um, doing the same method so not do it going into this very first space um, you're going to double crochet all the way along so that's one two three four five six seven eight and we know that we've got nine stitches before we actually get to the double and a lot of people do miss this stitch here so if you just pull the bobble to the side you can see that space just there that is your ninth stitch your tenth stitch will be the actual bobble itself so if you turn the uh, work on its head you'll see this like long V just here at the top you're going to put your hook underneath there and then do your tenth stitch and then your 11th stitch will be just after. So go ahead and finish off that row until you've got your 19 stitches, chain two and meet me back once you've done. So we're going to do our row of bobbles again and we can see that this time we need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets before we start our bobbles. So again, start your trebles pause the video and do your seven double crochets. So after you've done your seven double crochets, we're then going to do our bobble, which is yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, 
pull through two, you'll have four loops on the hook, and then again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, five loops on the hook. Going to grab the yarn and pull through all five loops, pull down on your work, and then do a double crochet into the next stitch just to anchor that down. And then we're going to go straight into another bobble. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So you now have five loops on the hook. You're going to grab the yarn and pull through all five loops, pull down on the work, and then do a double crochet into the next space. So we now have one more bobble left to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it in this next space. So two loops on the hook, three loops, four loops, and five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five loops, pull down on the stitch and then double crochet. You're then going to double crochet all the way along to the very end. You're going to chain two, one, two, turn your work and double crochet all along that row with your 19 double crochets, not forgetting to go into this stitch here which can hide uh, between the bubbles and at the front of the bubbles. So pause the video, work that next row of double crochets and meet me back in a moment. So this is what your work should be looking like now. I'm going to go ahead and chain two, one, two, turn my work and then if I refer back to this, I now have one, two, three, four, five stitches to do beforehand, one, two, three, four, five bobbles um, separated by a double crochet and then another five on the opposite end. So I'm going to go ahead and do these five stitches. It's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to go ahead and do another bobble. And then if you want to pause the video and do another four bobbles and then meet me back once you've done those and we'll finish off this row. So I'm now going to do the last um, stitches in here. We've just done a first double, two, three, four and five. I'm then going to chain two and then do my row of double crochets um, and then chain two again. So meet me back once you've done that row of double crochets, I'll show you what to do for the next row. So I've done my row of doubles, I'm now going to look at my diagram again. I've got three doubles, seven bobbles and three doubles and I'm actually going to do that for um, two rows. Uh, so these next uh, few bobble rows are the same and obviously the double rows are the same as well. So as we've done before, skip this first one and then do our double. So that's two, three and go ahead and start your seven bobbles. So pause the video, work those next six bobbles, do your three double crochets at the end, chain two and then turn your work and then you're going to do your row of doubles like before. So this is how my work is looking. I'm going to chain two and as I said before, this row is actually going to be the same as the last bobble row. So this is our first stitch. We do um, three in total, so that's two and three. Then you're going to do seven 
bubble stitches separated by a double crochet and then three at the very end. So what I'm going to get you to do is pause the video, do those seven bubbles, the three double crochet at the end and then your row of double crochets and then meet me back once you've done that. If you're really struggling just rewind the video and watch that last row of bubbles again. So here is what your work should be looking like now. What we're going to do now is chain two and because we've already done that row of doubles we're ready to do our bubbles again and this is where we're going to create the top of the heart. So I'm actually going to do one, two, three, four, five doubles to begin with. So again this is our first one. Two, three, four, and five. We're going to do two bubbles separated by a double crochet. So that's one and then double crochet into the next space and then two. And then in between this next bubble and the next two bubbles, you're actually going to do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to do a bubble, a double crochet, a bubble, and then double crochet all the way to the end. So go ahead and do that. So bubble, double, bubble, doubles to the end. And meet me back once you've done. So once you've done, you want to chain two, and then when you turn your work, you see that you have your heart, which is fully done. And from here, you're actually going to just do four rows of double crochet. So go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you back and show you how to finish off. So once you've done your last four rows, you should finish with the work um, the back of the work facing you. You want to tie off um, your yarn. So you're going to yarn over and pull through. So just chain one. I already did mine by accident, so I had to reattach the yarn. Uh, but you're going to snip off the yarn, pull that out, and then pull it nice and tight. And here you have your bobble heart square. So you might want to block this, which just involves you placing this down onto um, a surface where you can put pins in the, in the edges and then just hold it down uh, just so it keeps its shape. Because it's so dense in the middle, the corners can have a tendency to curl up slightly. So that's not a problem. So you could just block it down. Um, so pin in the corners. You can spray lightly with some water and let it dry. Um, and that helps to uh, keep it nice and straight. But that is your bobble heart tutorial. Please let me know if you do try out any other shapes. I'd be interested to see those. You can use hashtag Balacoco Crochet on Instagram and Twitter so that I can find them nice and easily. But I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!